Okay, welcome back guys to Alan Wake. This is the ghost town. Wait, do I... Can I reload my shotgun? Nope. Oh no. There we go. Seriously? That was a waste. Whoa. Wait, that's still alive. Ow. I took a couple of hits there. Where do I go now? Hmm. Up and around? Yep, up and around. How'd that still hit me? Okay, that's enough things attacking me. Nope. Uh, wait. What's this? What is that? Keys. Oh, it was keys. A boot. Nice. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Oh no. That's not a good idea, buddy. Hey, hunting rifle. Yeah, the hunting rifle's bad on the shotgun, sadly. Oh, that's not good. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was <laughs> telling me to hurry up. You have to point out the details that you can't spell that well. Nice. 
birds. Hey, this is dangerous. Nope. Oh, that was close. Jesus. Okay, turn around. Yeah, that's what you get. Angel. Get away from these birds. Okay, where the hell am I now? Just in the mining tunnel? Guess so, in the mining uh, tunnel. Well, this is not creepy one bit. Yeah, this is definitely not creepy. Nice players. Oh yeah, this is gonna be safe. Yep. And course. Ow! Oh, ow! Come on! Jesus! Okay, I got full pistol ammo. Well, that hurt a bit. Okay, Lissy just jumped right behind me. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Mind you. Guess I'll do this. There we go. I think it's supposed to go like that. Yep. Like that, maybe? I don't know. Not that, I guess. Like that? That's better. Down. Oh, then I climbed down. Yep, yep. I got it. 
It's kind of weird to just put a puzzle in this game like this. Okay. There you go. There we go. Up, up we go. There we go. And there we go. Nice. down go down okay what's up can I go back up yep bit janky going back up yeah see look at that bit janky what's up this way oh some flares nice And a page. Okay. Oh, hang hey on. Wait, wait, wait. Come back up. What's that? Focus? Whoa. That's kind of cool. There we go. Anything behind this? No? Okay. Guess that's it. Down we go. Well, I didn't die. There we go. Well, this is gonna end well. Remember how the last one ended? We're going up. Yeah, we're slightly going up. Come on. Are we there yet? Man is going very slow. Yep. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Well, I don't want to waste this gun on this guy. Shit. Damn. 
This thing really wants to kill you. Yeah, shoot these. Nice. Now where am I supposed to go? Can you find this track? Oh, another hunting rifle? Okay, just use this I guess. Let's give me can you give me hunting rifle, I'll use it. Just keep using this. Cause he's ammo for this, so why not? Nice. Caution wait. Ah, uh, okay. Oh no. The just no. Yep. Can we move a bit faster than this? How am I supposed to dodge that? Ow. Come here. I might post the dodge that guy on the bridge. <laughs> Guess another page. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'm supposed to go this way. Guess not. Oh uh, yeah, up here. Up here. Kick this down, I guess. Yep. Dude, you can literally kick that with your muscles. Oh no, you want to kick this. Sorry, my mistake. See? <laughs> what is this old creepy building? Guess that door doesn't work. <laughs> that's not even a door that's open. Oh, there's a cellar. Yes, let's go to the cellar. I miss you, Tom. Did did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. Okay. You talk to me on the TV. Okay. Creepy a bit. Yep, see more hunting rifle. Is that shotgun ammo? Thanks, I guess. Flares. I'm at my limit of flares. Go upstairs, I guess. Oh, 
Oh no. Come on, Flash. Ow. Come on, dodge. I'm trying to do the dodge button. Jesus. Man, they're really not pulling any punches now. They've got a full stop. They're just fighting haymakers now. Ow. I'm lucky I have that flashbang still. And all this hunting rifle ammo. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Wait! Are you? Yep, that's me. Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! What the? Definitely doing starfish like that. The truth. Ooh. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you're lying. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. go. go.
Okay. Hell, groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Ouch. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. So what do I do? Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Okie dokie. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Mm-hmm. Sure, Doc. I believe you. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. <laughs> Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way. Follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very mm. natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. After all, 
Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms now. of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Now here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Hmm. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. La, 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 Nope. Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Okay. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. <laughs> and these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Mm -hmm. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. <laughs> Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Okay. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Mm -hmm. Got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. A stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like. Moonbeams, 
on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed. Leather patches on the elbows? That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hard go. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and raw. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden. Old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, for... Okay. I think You're that would... Tired. I think that would do it for now. I'll Coast see you guys next time. Lake. Peace. Of power. Okay. Yeah, parties there, man. You... You should go there and have a party. You guys done? That Bob Balder threw the app through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head, fifteen stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. You guys stitches, done? Snitches yep. and narks, man. Bad scene. You guys are done I'm now? Tired, man. So tired. So you guys I, done? I uh I wanna go home. So you guys done now? Okay, I think they're done now. Jesus. That took a while. Yeah, good thing he's not overreacting or anything. The doors were locked. Well, Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.